Our reservations are hurting. They're hemorrhaging the cries of our elders, the blood of our youth being planted below the frost line faster than light goes out from their peers' embers. Our sisters being abused in alarming ways, gone from their family for too many days. Gone missing, murdered, beaten, and abused is our most natural resource. Then the children who see this think it's a normal thing to abuse their women, that upholding them is not a means of recourse. Protect our children! is shouted from voice to caps on a page. However, those who shout it are still bringing drugs, alcohol, and other illegal substances into the home so frequently that the negative can even be expelled with heavy amounts of burning sage. Drunken parents passed out give a hell of an opportunity to have their children felt up because of that spirit being sought after by knocking down cup after red solo cup. COVID-19 can't be seen. However, make no mistake, when it creeps up, it's mean. Out all night with strangers of all types. How will you feel if or when you bring it home to your family? You or your kid gets it and you have to talk via Skype. The hemorrhaging of cries from the community for help was shedding light on the endangered Native American lady. An onslaught of people dying from poison being introduced into the vein, then after a crying neglected baby. Save this, save that. Save the children from pedophiles and monsters preying on them is shouted from the rooftops and in social media apps. Are you going to change your life for those children you say you want to save? Or are you going to live your free and happy life just collecting used packets and bottle caps? Are you willing to abstain from drugs and alcohol because those are killing our youth? Or are you going to say, I'm good, and listen to your device via Bluetooth? We as a people want change, yet we're not willing to change it up. Our reservations are hurting, hemorrhaging with evil. If you are not truly trying to do good and just complaining, I say to you, suck it up, buttercup. I, for one, don't want to see another sister go missing or hear about domestic violence taking their lives. I don't want to hear about children growing up in destructive, abusive hives. I say, if you want to save, save the children. Save them from everything that could harm them. Justice for our MMIW protect our reservations from the dealers pushing the poison in its veins and at the end of the day even if you're exhausted from the fight at least one fact still remains you did something and something is more than nothing now i'll probably catch dislike for this and be unfriended by a few however believe me when i tell you i won't even notice because no matter what happens at the end of the day i'm here for each and every one of you Hello everybody, my name is Sugar Shane Webster. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to take just a little bit of time to speak about the video that you just watched about the missing and murdered indigenous women, the child abuse. The time when I wrote this, at the time when I wrote this, it was at the height of the COVID pandemic. And we were burying our youth at an alarming rate. Now when I say reservations, I mean our communities, our cities, our inner city, our older city, not just on the res, but off reservation as well, that, that were affected by the overdoses from meth, fentanyl, cocaine, the accidents that happen while drunk driving, or the neglect from their children, or sexual abuse thereof from being intoxicated in, in some type of way or form that was really bad for our people not only as an individual person but a people as a whole so I just wanted to say that these are my opinions that I'm not acting with a company coalition or corporation this is just me Sugar Shane Sugar Shane Records owned and operated and Sugar Vision is my vision for what um, my video should look like and the message and the content thereof. And Sugar Shane Records is my company, my record label, where all of the audio comes from and I bring them all from you, to you from this phone. And this is my office, my basement, along with the furnace and the washer and dryer going off while I'm trying to do my poems and all of that. So I'll not ask you to uh, like this video. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If, it, if you like it, you like it. Uh, it's up to you. Choice is yours. 
And with that, I would like to say again, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I hope you like the content of the videos and I hope to see you soon at a gathering or an outing near sometime. If you do see me, come say hi. If you don't want to say hi, yeah, that's fine too. <laughs> All right. Peace.